Good morning, guys. And this is a analysis about Cardano. And the reason why I'm doing this is because um, if you are in the Discord channel, you know that we did enter, we did we buy like six six hundred thousand Cardano somewhere here, and we got stopped out. But uh, that was a major position and i did not close it i got stopped out and uh we're gonna cover it in detail so i still think that cardano, cardano can keep going up and the reason why i haven't opened along yet is because i have not found i have not found uh a decent entry but i still think uh we can make it all the way up to four uh not four anywhere between six or seven dollar and i'm gonna show you how i did to identify a target price now this is gonna be a uh, analysis slash lesson on how you should uh, how you should look for target price using a channel now let me go ahead and remove this so uh, when I, when I when I saw this movement I did go ahead and place a channel here so this is um, this is a weekly structure let me show you so I'll go ahead and place this one this is a weekly channel and because this is a weekly because this is a weekly channel uh, usually because this is a weekly channel I'm gonna go ahead and place it on use a white color I'm gonna show you how you do this um, uh, after that well, what you do uh, the reason why I am bullish on Cardano let me first let me let me start by saying this is because uh, our coin can literally disregard the major trend and and we've seen this with Solana lately so if a coin has enough good fundamental and significant milestone in their development in the project development the the sentiment around this coin tend to be very bullish and for a moment the coin will probably disregard a major drop on bitcoin and uh it's like like, like if it can go ahead and stop selling start selling off real hard we're gonna have a little bit of um reaction but some coin are because of their uh core fundamental they tend to react more to a certain trend and this is how i build my watch list and you you probably know that i have a i have a sets of coin that i know because of their fundamental they are by core bullish and i have a sets of coin that i know because of their fundamental they are perish i know that this coin they won't be around after 10 years for an example and that would be the case of like when for an example uh so because that i know this coin for an example if we enter a bear trend an intense bear, bear bear trend i tend to short in my blacklist because my blacklist is loaded with shit coin because shit coin react better uh in bear trend and good coins they react better in a bull trend for an example bitcoin can stay in a sideways movement in a coin with a good fundamental or a, 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 a bullish fundamental decide to go up sometimes by 100 percent easy and that's that happened a lot and that's the reason why some people um they ask me how come you are uh you are bearish for now and my action are still neutral but my overall trend is still bearish for now uh how come you did go long on cardano and like i said this is where the fundamental come comes into play now once you have a um a channel a way to do this is to use this uh, vertical line on the last candle like this now because this is a weekly weekly time frame because this is weekly i'm gonna go ahead and place it 
a line so this vertical line uh, this line is placed on the candle that is this week candle and I'm gonna go ahead and use another horizontal line and I'm gonna place it in this intersection right there and this is supposed to be my target price for the week now if in the next week for an example all I have to do is use my keyboard and move it by one candle so the more we go toward the the right side of the chart the higher the target price so technically if this is a channel the highest we can go for this week is six dollar and eighty uh six dollar eighty five cents so if for an example i did not get stopped out my top target price for the um, for the week will be somewhere here that's exactly how I know uh, I place um, my um, that's exactly how I know how to use a, um, a channel and go ahead and look for a target price now if you know that we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, um, a major event for an example we know that for for Cardano, I know we're gonna have a check for you if you can get this no it's not gonna happen here so if you know that for card and for an example we're gonna have a major uh even for an example tomorrow or september 12th what you can do is go ahead and use another line and place it on the date so this line is actually on september 5th so we're gonna move it all the way to september 12th and we're gonna go back on a weekly time frame and that will give you the second target price which is around seven dollar this intersection right there with the upper line in the channel will give you the second target price for cardano so this line is on the date if this is gonna create a major bull run for the day this is most likely to reach at least seven dollar and 36 cents and that's how if you go on a lower time frame for an example and that's how you get that target price on Cardano that sits between $6.85 and $7.36 if the good news is going to go ahead and push the price higher. That happens a lot and Cardano is a major project and one of the thing, one of the coins that I plan to accumulate a lot, I know that I, I did get stopped out on this, on this last swing. So, so I'm looking for I'm looking for new entries right there. Uh, I am patient. It does it's it's all right so far. Uh, I did get stop at two dollar and forty one cents something like that. And yeah, I did get stop on this swing. It's not a big problem for me because I'm gonna go ahead and pay attention since uh, this is look like a um, sideway movement. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sit and monitor this stuff. So on a weekly time frame, the other thing that I did notice is that RSI right there. It's not a downtrend, it's a potential one, but this stuff can end up being a confirmation. So if Bitcoin uh, enter into a retracement, it doesn't matter a small retracement from forty eight to forty two thousand dollar. Chances are Cardano will go ahead and test um, this price, which is uh, the top of the last one, that around two dollar and thirty cents. That will be another entry point, and lower than that would be one dollar and fifty six cents. So and that's the reason why, even even though I got stopped out, I'm gonna go ahead and wait. That are we gonna get some movement on the news day? Or are we gonna add some? Are we gonna have some movement because of Bitcoin? So we are monitoring those two situation right there. Now I did show you my position on Cardano, and many people have been asking me, how do you set those target? I did show you this one right there. You can go ahead and use this video as a lesson because uh, I use it a lot, and I use this special. I use that a lot in in full. Four hours time frame too. 
when you get this presentation those interesting situation of channel and if i think this is going to be a channel and this is where we're going to probably reach this zone i'm not saying that we cannot go higher than that i've seen that often that we go ahead and pass this upper line but this is actually the the minimum target zone so we can go here or higher if this is gonna go ahead and create a major movement on the way up which is most likely to happen when they drop the good news about uh, Cardano so um, that's let me see if I, I don't think there is anything else to say about it I'm just paying attention to the entire thing like I said this zone right there if you wanna um, if you wanna know this zone right there is a buying zone this zone right there is a buying zone and I th let me see I have to go lower down yeah this is no let me check how are you I don't think we're gonna go that low that fast but definitely one dollar and fifty six that will be the lowest if we're gonna drop but uh, like I said a coin with good fundamental one can definitely disregard Bitcoin a uh, major trend and do things on it on its own it even for a moment even temporary so that's it for Cardano the next coin I'm gonna cover is Litecoin and short entries I'm already on a short Litecoin all right guys and oh, remember to uh, let your reaction on the on the video you know like comment subscribe and use the channel uh, discord channel link so we can go ahead and join the community